Hey, what's up, everybody? The world's a better place because you are here to join us. My name is Matt Brown, and I am the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. It is Thursday, October 10th, about to be Friday, October 11th, 2024. And we have a very, very exciting podcast right now. A quick, quick recap of the Yankees going to the ALCS. And before we talk about the Yankees' huge win and ticket to the next round of the postseason, I just remind you to like and subscribe to the Productive Conversations podcast on all podcasts and platforms and YouTube. But don't forget to check out exclusive content across all social media platforms on Instagram at Productive Conversations Podcast, X to Twitter at Prokava Pod, or on TikTok at Productive Conversations and Facebook at Productive Conversations. And as always, want to thank our presenting sponsor, Magic Mind. Get your get Magic Mind. Look at this beautiful Magic Mind. This green tea shot has been proven through its various vitamins and nootropics to improve your life. It will improve your mental performance, create less stress, create more calm energy for yourself, and create much vitality to improve your life. You take it before your day begins, and I promise you, your life will enhance in various ways. And get your first subscription to Magic Mind by going to magicmind.com slash PCMB. And use this sound code PCMB20 for 48% off your first subscription or 20% off your first one-time purchase. So, all right. Major League Baseball tonight. Two pretty intriguing games. First, we have the Cleveland Guardians forcing a game five. And they will be playing on Saturday afternoon. And then the big one, the winning I'm most excited for, as you know, as a big Yankee game, Yankee fan for all my life. The Yankees advance to the next round by having the great Garrett Cole pitch a hell of a game, throwing six innings, only, around, only allowing one earned run, having four strikeouts, and the team stepping up offensively with big games from Glaber. Big games from Glaber. John Carlos Stanton once again with another big game. Aaron Judge gets an extra base hit that we were looking for. And then the bullpen shuts it down with Clay Holmes and Luke Weaver. And we're back in the ALCS, baby. Good stuff, am I right? But seriously, Garrett Cole was the player of the game again, as I mentioned. Seven innings, only allowed six hits, only one run and four strikeouts. But he was dealing. And there were a couple moments runners were left on base. And we had Pasquiano have to go very deep in the right field. But with Soto caught it, we were all set. You know, Yankees only go having two players hit yesterday to a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players hitting tonight. That's what we want to see the offense stepping up. John Carlos Stanton, if there was an ALDS MVP, he clearly will be would be your MVP. Very, very happy to see, you know, Stan to go with for two for three and knocking get a run. And we also have Glaber Torres set the tone with a big double to start the game. Then Juan Soto comes in, drives him in. And yeah, as we were happy to see Aaron Judge get his extra base hit today. And then Clay Holmes and Luke Weaver did their thing. And now, you know, Kansas City never really threatened. They, they had their best game on Tuesday. I saw, yeah, on Tuesday, a game two. And, no, Monday for game two. And, so yeah, solid defensive plays. And, yeah, they kept this Royals team quiet all game long. And, you know, their eight, Michael Walker did do his thing. Never needed to force a game five, which would have been on Saturday. And they would have, as Alec mentioned yesterday, going against, against their ace who gave him a hard time. This was a must win for the Bronx Bombers. And that is what they pulled off in a big game on the road. And yeah, just insane improvements from last night. Even though this they scored the same amount of runs, you would definitely wish that they were able to put some more runs on the board. But you know what? A win's a win, and that is what counts. How about that bench is clearing brawl? It's not brawl. That bench is clearing moment. I mean, seriously, what's that guy? Let me let me get his let me get that base runner one more time. We have Millet, we had Garcia 
with the spikes up for Volpe. Volpe not not for <laughs> being face patted the guy on the back. How could you? Uh, I knew after that that it was the Yankees to win. Kansas City finally gets humbled one way or the other, even though it seems their football team will never lose. But yeah, that's that's what you wanted. That's what you wanted to shut this team down. Never threatened at all in this series at the uh, Kansas City part portion. And now the Yankees can relax for a couple of days. And then it's Monday. Monday is when we are back at it. And we will wait to see who wins with the Guardians and the Tigers. But seriously, solid stuff for tonight. Defensively, in the pitching for both. I see a starter, Garrett Cole, go deep in the game. Props to Boone for, for, Boone for letting that happen. Yeah, been there, done that. Glad the Kansas City season is over, for baseball at least. And now we look ahead, as I said, we look ahead to what's going to happen on Monday. And um, I was I was happy that we could just stay calm. And yeah, I never really threatened. And especially when Judge got his extra base hit, I felt like this team is going to pull this off. So we wait to see with with Detroit and Cleveland. And I am going to say, hmm, who who do I think is going to win this the next Cleveland Guardians and Tigers game? I, I would be surprised if the Tigers pull it off, honestly. Even though it was a back and forth game, clearly the uh, this is an evenly matched t matched uh matched series. Uh, give me Detroit pulling off the upset and continuing their magic ride. And you know the Yankees at Detroit over the past couple of seasons. Let's see, open. It. Let me just before I go into there. And the spread has opened with. Detroit as an early favorite, minus 120 on the money line. And yeah, it looks like Detroit, even on the road, are going to open as your favorite on Saturday night against the Guardians. I mean, they have some college, big college football games to compete with, but why not? They're clearly going to bring their ace to Rick Scoobel, the AL Cy Young Award winner, and we'll see what Cleveland winds up deciding. But I'm pretty excited to see what this ha- what goes. And you know what? With this scrappy line that they have with Jake Roberts uh, and Riley Greed out here, why not? Why not? And uh, with Detroit, who else we have here? There's one moment. I'm going to go with Detroit with this one. See, they just have their Cinderella story running. If you were a big Yankee fan like me, Grow it up. Yankees and Detroit in the playoffs have been quite an interesting matchup since I've been a Yankee fan since the year 2000. And Detroit has had our number in these series, right? And the they beat us in 2000 in 2005, no, 2006 in the ALDS. Blow that Kevin Brown, uh disaster there. Then they beat us in 2011. Then they beat us again in 2012 in the ALCS. Jeter breaks his ankle in game one, and that started a little dark period until the baby bombers go on. So um, the last three playoff series, Detroit has won. So, and then the Yankees have had Cleveland's number pretty much, you know, defeating them in the, as early as um, the latest time they beat in the 2022 American League Division Series. I'd like to see them defeat Detroit. And get revenge for when I was a teenager and a young kid. Detroit always beat the Yankees in these series. Let's have the Yankees turn it around now. And there's a lot to be excited for. The bullpen looks solid in this series. The starting pitching held its own. And even in the loss, even in our 4-2 to two loss with Rondon's tough outing, he had the worst matchup in the series. And wasn't even that terrible. And as long as the guy has his confidence, why not have him? Why not? Why not us? Uh, and I do think it's hard to say, you know, this American League Central Se- Division is so evenly matched. So it's kind of hard to see 
to tell the upgrade here, and hence why so many people were saying that this is the Yankees' path to make it to the World Series and finally win the American League for the first time since 2009. So I don't think there's much to be intimidated about. Yeah, I said I wanted Detroit, but Cleveland would be fine too. But either way, when we make it to Monday, we'll talk about, and I'm sure we will. We'll t- we are going to check in on Sunday after Game One of the NLCS. And yeah, this is this is what how's it going to turn out to be with both the Yankees and Mets in the NLCS. We're going to have podcasts after every single game. Um, as long as nothing gets in the way of that, we expect to do a podcast every single night for the AL and NLCS. And hopefully we are doing World Series post-game podcast as well. But again, don't have to put the cart before the horse yet. Let us just enjoy tonight. Yankees winning. I hope they party. Don't party too hard. They didn't go absolutely nuts on the Kansas City field. No need to. We don't need an Edward Diaz situation, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, as long as the offense keeps waking up, they woke up a little bit tonight. Compared to Game Three and Game Two, you just hope that they could continue to score more runs. And now we move from a best of five to a best of seven, and it's going to be a great ride. But either way, we're ecstatic. Yankees are moving to the ALCS. We got great baseball this weekend to enjoy. We got a crucial Game Five between the Padres and the Dodgers. Give me the Padres in Game Five for that one. Give me Detroit on Saturday with the Guardians and Tigers on Saturday night. And yep, Sunday it begins. Sunday begins these crucial championship series. So you'll be hearing a lot of me with some baseball talk. Hopefully, Alec can join us as well. But either way, we're about to have a lot of fun with this. Continue productive conversations. And yeah, October baseball does it again. Does it again. So good stuff for the Yankees. And that will be the week of productive conversations. Uh, We are off on Friday, off on Saturday, and we're back on Sunday. We will be giving you an episode reacting to game one of the NLCS. We will obviously do our week six of the NFL on Monday. We'll record that Sunday. And then we will have our week seven of the college football season, a big college football weekend, might I add. And that will be dropping on Monday too. So podcast now. Here it is one more time. Sunday, NLCS reaction game one. Monday, we have NFL re oh boy, Monday's gonna be someday. Monday, we are going to ha- drop our week six of the NFL season recap, college football week seven recap, game one recap of the ALCS, game two recap. So we'll, we'll combine the baseball, ALCS and NLCS, game one of the ALCS reaction on Monday, game two of the NLCS on Tuesday. And then Tuesday we will be dropping Tuesday we will be dropping the Tuesday we will be dropping the tweet cap. Then we will continue throughout the week with um picks on Thursday, tweet cap on Friday, and then all week we will have baseball post game podcast for you. So busy week ahead. So On top of our normally scheduled programs, Monday, the week seven and week six, college football and NFL podcast recaps, tweet caps on Tuesday, Thursday, our picks, Friday, tweet cap, and then the rest of the week after that will be our post-game podcast for AL and NLCS. So quite a week ahead. So it's time to relax because we are going right back at it on Sunday, but I am very much looking forward to it, and I hope you are too, the great people of the Productive Nation. So with all that, I just want to remind you to have a great and safe weekend. Have a Enjoy the good vibes of the fall. We are thinking of you, our friends down in the south of America, down south in America, those recovering from Hurricane Milton. And yeah, just continue to give a helping hand and be a good person out there. But my name is Matt Brown. I'm the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. Let's go, Yankees. And we will see you all again on Sunday. Peace.